I'm ready to go outside today. Ah, oh, I'm excited. We're gonna go to the zoo, we're gonna go up to the tea place. Goodbye windowless room. We're going back to Taipei now. It's the end of our Western trip, a Western Taiwan trip, and we're heading back for two weeks to Taipei. So, ah, back to the rain. This July luggage is amazing for the price. Like for 500 bucks, we got like three, for, for I think it was like 500 bucks, we got three pieces of luggage. It was like a holiday deal. Such a good deal. Such good luggage. And it just, it's worked. I mean, we've taken this through everywhere, like through the winter in Germany till here. It's just amazing. And we brought it through Europe twice. Went through winter, now it's through summer, through the mud, through the snow. It's still running strong. Here, like seven years ago for language school for a year. It was fun. It was a very good school. I wish I studied harder though.
weekend busy. So many people because it's the weekend. You want to join? We can join. raining so hard but I, I see the end of the cloud so hopefully that's uh, it's the weekend Saturday so it's busy here but it's still raining so hard this is Damshui by the way it's the uh, harbor at the end of the red line in Taiwan like harbor there's an island over there I don't know if it's a harbor it's like the it's the, it's the ocean side anyways it's a fun place to go at the weekends uh, just like for a day trip there's tons of food. Um, I've heard uh, the uh, the brown sugar milk teas are from here. So uh, yeah, it's a fun place to come if you're coming to Taiwan and you want a, a place to come hang out. Damshui, just the end of the red line, is the uh, the perfect place. It's like old Just like dried fruits and stuff. Taking the rain. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, these are cute earrings. You should get one of these. These are cute earrings. <laughs> Bobo one. Bobo one? Mm. It's too cute for me. been over an hour with no one in sight so we're trying to find this American restaurant because it's the only place that looks pretty good near that we can eat inside so uh where is it? it's called Red Barn Actually, I never knew it before it's you on the, it's on the, when I look up like the special seats. Uh -huh. Oh wow, I should have me and you. Is this medium? No way. Wow. Wow, that's spicy. That's not medium spicy, that's spicy spicy. Just in time for sunset. I know. What timing? Such good timing. Mm. Uh, oh, good thing the rain's gone. Uh, luckily. Night still here. Right? Mm. This place is pretty at night. Mm. Hey, the the boats and the ocean and the, like the ocean and stuff. Taiwan, they have uh, a lottery ticket system that they give to people when people make a purchase. So when you make any purchase, you'll get a ticket or you can get a scan a barcode and it'll be added to your 
uh, national ID, but um, for tourists like me who don't have a national ID, you probably just get the receipt and you'll get the lottery ticket. Basically, it's like a QR codes, two QR codes on here, and then you can use the QR codes. You can scan the QR codes in an app on the app store. There's tons of them. It is uh, basically just an app to scan your barcodes. Hold on, let me show you. So it gets, it just uses your your phone to scan barcodes. So I'm gonna scan a barcode and you'll hear what it sounds like. So I'm gonna take, so take one of these receipts and I'm just gonna go. So it makes like a, it makes a sound basically. It makes a little you didn't win sound. And if you win, you can go and collect some money. It goes up to like 300,000 US dollars, I think, something like that. And um, yeah, if you win, uh, you can you can collect some money. Uh, as far as I know, tourists can do it too. I was doing it when I was living here before I didn't have, before I even had a residence card, I was able to do it. We are heading to dinner at this place called Holt. Very excited. Uh, the guy followed my Instagram account, so I, one of the chefs, so I decided, let's go, why not? <laughs> Spearmint, no Chinese today. Shh. Uh, not the 